Welcome viewers, in this video, we will see the inductance of coaxial line with solid conductor. Only one conductor available. In previous video, the inductance of coaxial cable with two conductors is available. In this video, having only one solid conductor. So, this diagram shows the coaxial transmission line with a solid conductor of radius a meter. Right, so refer the diagram. We have one inner con one conductor is available. Only one solid conductor. The radius is a meters. If you want to transmit the single phase power, we need one more conductor. For single phase power, we need like this. One more conductor is needed. So here we have only one conductor. For transmitting single phase power like this, we need two conductors. So the flux, total flux is now we have pi 1 and pi 2, sum of pi 1 and pi 2. What is pi 1? The flux due to the solid conductor itself is nothing but pi 1. Flux linkage due to the solid conductor. So due to single phase we are having two conductors, so the flux between these two conductors is pi 2. Flux linkage between two conductors. Right. So, in this derivation, we consider only one conductor, solid conductor with radius A. If you want to transmit the single phase power, we need two conductors. So, the flux is nothing but flux due to the solid conductor pi 1, flux between these two conductors pi 2. We assume that one more conductor is available nearby. So, the flux is pi 1 plus pi 2. Right. So, we need to find pi 1 then pi 2. For calculation purpose, we consider one point P. Consider a point P at a distance of R meter radius which is less than radius A. Right? We consider one radius R, R radius, which is less than A. The radius R is less than A meter, the radius of the conductor. That means the point P is located inside the conductor not outside, it is inside the conductor. The point P is located inside the conductor with a radius of R meter which is less than A. So at point P, we will see the derivation. So our aim is to find the inductance, inductance of the solid conductor. First we will find magnetic field intensity, then flux. From flux we can find the inductance because inductance L equal to N pi by I. Right? So we start with the magnetic field intensity. What is magnetic field intensity from Ampere's law? I divided by 2 pi A. A is nothing but radius of the conductor. But here we assumed one radius R. So we are multiplying with the ratio R by A. What is R? What is A? A is nothing but radius of the conductor. R is we assumed one point P which is less than A. So if the R is 50 percentage means we will get 50 percentage of ratio here. If R is 0.7 is 70 percentage mean, we will get 70 percentage will be multiplied. For example, A is 10 meter, R is 5 meter mean 5 by 10, that is 1 by 2, 50 percentage will be multiplied together. In order to make the ratio between R and A, we are multiply with R by A. Suppose A and R both are equal, it got cancelled, otherwise the ratio will be multiplied. So this is due to Ampere's law, integral h dot dl equal to i, so h equal to i by integral dl, that is 2 pi a, circumference. So after this what we have, i r divided by 2 pi a square, here one a is available, here one a available, so 2 pi a square, i r divided by 2 pi a square. So from magnetic field intensity, we will find the magnetic flux density, b. What is B? B equal to mu h. One relation is available. B equal to mu into h. So that mu into h is nothing but I r divided by 2 pi a square. So B equal to mu I r divided by 2 pi a square. So now we got the expression for magnetic flux density B. But magnetic flux density one more formula is available. General formula. D pi 1 equal to B into a. Right? That is b equal to pi by a, so that d pi equal to b into a. Flux density equal to flux divided by area, so that flux equal to flux density into area. This pi 1 refers flux density due to solid conductor alone. 
then flux leaking is between two conductors pi 2 we will calculate later right so d pi 1 equal to b into a what is b is available here mu i r divided by 2 pi a square so here also we multiplied by ratio r square by a square actually it is pi r square divided by pi a square due to area we are multiply with pi. this pi pi got cancelled so r square by a square into dr right we are going to differentiate with respect to radius the length of the conductor we assumed as 1 so only we have the radius r now we got the expression for d pi 1 so d pi 1 equal to mu naught i r cube divided by 2 pi a power 4 into dr after simplifying this we got this value so this d pi 1 is the flux of the solid conductor due to small radius r we assumed one point point p at a radius r we want to get the total flux the entire flux linkage can be obtained by integration by integrating on both the side we will get the total flux linkage then what is the limit for that limit is 0 to a that is a is nothing but radius of the solid conductor right so the radius increases from 0 to a so the limit is from 0 to a now integrate on both the side integral d pi 1 equal to integral 0 to a mu naught i r cube divided by 2 pi a power 4 into dr so d pi integral d pi 1 is nothing but pi 1 so this is a total flux that is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi a power 4 is constant only we are going to integrate r cube into dr this r cube we are going to integrate only the term r cube with a limit 0 to a now we'll go for the integration so mu naught i divided by 2 pi a power 4 <coughs> constant so integral r cube is nothing but r power 4 by 4 right integral r cube is r power 4 by 4 now we need to substitute the limit a and 0 so mu naught i divided by 2 pi a power 4 this r is replaced by a power 4 by 4 minus 0 lower limit is 0 so what is that that is nothing but mu naught i divided by 2 pi a power 4 a power 4 by 4 this 0 is available so a power 4 for a power 4 got cancelled right so what we got pi 1 equal to mu naught i 2 pi into 4 is 8 pi pi 1 equal to mu naught i divided by 8 pi so this pi 1 is nothing but flux due to solid conductor alone right pi 1 now we need to find pi 2 value what is pi 2 flux linkage between two conductors we here we have only one conductor but single phase we have we need one more conductor we assume that nearby one more conductor is there the flux linkage between these two conductor is pi 2 what is this value mu naught i divided by 2 pi log b by a so this derivation available in a previous video the inductance of a cable or inductance of coaxial transmission line with inner and outer cylinders from that we are offering this value the the, the flux linkage between two conductors available in the previous video you can refer so from that we are taking this value mu naught i divided by 2 pi log b by a so now we got the two values pi 1 and pi 2 pi 1 due to solid conductor alone pi 2 between the two conductors right now we will go to the total flux total flux is pi 1 plus pi 2 so the total flux equal to pi equal to pi 1 plus pi 2 pi 1 is mu naught i divided by 8 pi plus mu naught i divided by 2 pi log b by a right so pi 1 and pi 2 are added together so mu naught i divided by 2 pi we can take it as common right so here mu naught i by 8 pi is there 2 pi is taken outside so we got 1 by 4 2 into 4 8 plus this mu naught i 2 pi is taken outside only we have log b by a right so pi equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi 1 by 4 plus log b by a this is the flux value but what we need is inductance right so the bring this i in the denominator 
right bring the i in the denominator so that pi divided by i equal to mu naught divided by 2 pi of 1 by 4 plus log b by a right this i is brought into denominator what is pi by i pi by i is nothing but inductance n pi by i is the formula of here n is 1 so pi by i is nothing but inductance so that is equal to mu naught divided by 2 pi 1 by 4 plus log b by a so this is the total inductance of a solid conductor having only one conductor by referring one more conductor assuming one more conductor available nearby right so mu naught divided by 2 pi 1 by 4 plus log b by a a is nothing but area of a is nothing but radius of the conductor the b is nothing but distance between the conductor this b refers distance between the conductors right so now we got the expression for inductance of a solid conductor in this video we discuss the inductance of solid conductor right thank you